everyone welcome back to my channel this is Jenny I hope your Friday is going really well today I have an exciting Dollar Tree haul to share with you everything I picked up is brand new and a lot of this I am just amazed that you're able to find this at the Dollar Tree for only a dollar if you ever want to keep up to date on what is new at the Dollar Tree, then be sure you always check out the Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos that I post throughout the week because those are the videos that you are going to see what is new and what to look out for. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and link those down below. Also, here at the end, I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions that you've been asking um, for the past couple of days, so I thought I would just address those questions here at the end. So, Joey... Is it okay if I show them what we bought? She looks excited, doesn't she? Okay, baby girl. All right. I am just going to dive right in and show you these Crafter Square items. This is like, well, for your Cricut. Not $10, $15 for a roll of vinyl. No, a dollar. Okay, so let me show you what colors that they had. Here you have the vinyl paper, the permanent kind that is, and they have it in green. They are 12 inch by 48 inch for a dollar. Yes, for a dollar. And then here on the back, they just show you like a, a demonstration or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and open one of you. Come up there, Joey. You're staring at the chair. Let me show you on what... Now, this Dollar Tree that I was able to find this at um, is the Maysville Road Dollar Tree, which is my favorite one here in Fort Wayne, um, Indiana, that is. And they had all of this on an end cap. You guys, look how much you get. For a dollar. <laughs> I know. All right. Also, they had it in yellow and black and white. Now, those are the colors that they had in the permanent one. Now, if you have found any other colors or any other products for um, Cricut, please comment down below because I really don't know all what's out there. Now, the other colors that they had um, were for the removable vinyl. Um, same length, 12 inch by 48 inch. So here they have it in red, white, black, blue, and those are all the colors that they had in the vinyl. The other item they had is transfer tape for a dollar. Yes, 5.5 inch by 30 eight inch this is what the box looks like there is the back and then there's some instructions for you i'm going to go ahead and open one of these to give you a better look so oh there you go that's what it looks like for one dollar oh, just you know what if you have someone or know someone or even for yourself um, that they have a cricket and you know what it's not cheap to buy stuff for it start stocking up for christmas i know it's never too early to start buying for christmas when you can find this kind of stuff for only a dollar and make up a cute little basket for that crafter in your family oh my gosh they would love it okay a few other items that they had they have the crafter square craft picker they had it in two colors and it says easily removes tiny cuts, separate vinyl and iron on cuts from the liner. So they had this white one with more like a taupe peachy kind of top right there. And then they have one that's all white. Now, I don't know. I don't think the top comes off, but let me go ahead and open it. On my channel, I like to open items give you a closer look and if it needs to be tried out I'll go ahead and try it there on the spot and give you my honest opinion so no it does not come off so it looks like something the dentist would use to 
scrape your teeth and make your skin crawl. It's just me. I don't know. So yeah, for ooh, for a dollar. Uh huh. Okay. The other four items they had with all that other stuff is the Crafter Square glitter iron on transfers. They had it in four colors. Now it does not have the length on what you get. So I have my ruler here to check to see. So here is the blue and on the back, they give you all the instructions how to use it. And then they had it in silver, red and gold. As you know, Moral Day is coming up and 4th of July. Those colors right there would be perfect to do some DIYs or some um, decorations if you're having a party. This is, to give you a idea, maybe I can never figure out my ruler. So it is 11 inch by nine. So 11 by nine for a dollar. Still, I think that's a great deal for the iron-ons. Okay, moving on. They had a lot of new fabric. I picked up three. I think there are seven or eight new ones. I'll link the video down below and what I show you in the Dollar Tree on what's new because I don't buy everything that's new. So that's why I always say to check those videos out because that will show you everything that I've been able to find that was new. So these are the three I chose. So here they had this really cute bunny one. And off and on, you'll see one with a little red bow. I've always had issues trying to open these with this tape that's like super glue practically. Let me try to open it. Oh, I guess it wasn't that bad. Just so you can get a better look on what the fabric looks like. And the amount you get is 20 inch by 21 inch. The other one, oh my gosh, this one was so cute. Let me cut it open for you. Look at the sloth. Oh, oh, it's a baby. Look, a little baby. How adorable. And then the last one I picked up is, really like the colors of this one. What are these flowers? There. Now they had um, a plaid one, a polka dot one. They had one with like rain boots and umbrellas and I think there's another flowered one. I can't remember all of them, but those are the three that I really liked. They have a new fairy garden set. Now, I know online about a week or so ago, you could buy the entire set, which I think was maybe 20 some dollars. I'm not 100% sure, but I did buy one of each because I don't recall ever noticing them carrying anything for like a beach theme. So I thought I would get what I could, that what they had, and I'm gonna take one of those big flower pots um, that the Dollar Tree carries, fill that up, and probably do a little beach theme with these. So the items that they had were this little umbrella, it had a little seashell with sand. Um, just to give you a quick idea on how tall, it's about three inches. They had this cute, blue chair. Now you can always paint these and do something else if you don't like the colors. And they have this beach chair. The sand. There's a sailboat. I thought this one was really cute. It comes with two um, uh, palm trees with flip-flops hanging from them for some odd reason. And then the last one that they had was this rainbow, I guess it's a little path or something. I don't know, but I thought that was cute. And then what they had in the packets, you get three of each one. So in here, oh, it, you notice that. So they had this pack. I'll go ahead and open this. So I know with the glare, it's kind of hard. So you get this little blue bucket with a little ball and shovel and sand. This one just has a shovel and sand. And this one is awkward, kind of. It has a fish. Some you don't see in a pail sitting on the beach very often. It's just a fish just chilling on top of a bucket. 
and they had these seashells. Again, you get three in the pack. And then they had this one. So we have like a surfboard, flip flops, and a life preserver. And then the last one is this beach sign. It says beach, happy place, and peace and boardwalk. Put a little palm tree in that. So how cute is that? So those are what I was able to find so far. Again, um, if there's any other parts to this, please comment down below and let me know so I know what to look out for. Okay, moving on. They have some new makeup blenders or blenders. I think that's what they're called. It is by Wet n Wild and well, they're called mini makeup sponges. Easy enough. And look at that. They are in the shape of carrots. Well, not technically in the shape of a carrot, but how they have the outline, which I thought was cute for Easter since that's what, 48 hours away. And, oh, and they had this by Wet n Wild. It's the silicone applicator. Look at the little face on it. How cute that is. Now I was reading some of your guys' comments and I'm trying to remember what one of you said that you did with this. Something I think with paint? Hmm. I'll have to go back and look. But yeah, pick that up. Okay, they also had by Wet n Wild this new liquid high shine lipstick. Mega Last. They had two different colors. I picked up this one. I'm more of a neutral kind of color. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this open. I think I was messing around with it earlier and I was having difficulties, which doesn't surprise. Oh, here we go. All right. See, I think we're getting it. So let's give this sucker a try. Ooh. Ew. Mm. That's very irritating. Well, why isn't it not getting on the brush. Let's just, ooh, I don't know about that. Mm. Mm. Not sure about you. Why are you so clumpy? It is called Satin Sheets. Hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to get a towel that they wrap my little figuring things in. I don't know about that. I don't know if I like that. Now I know they've had this stuff in the past, but for some odd reason this bottle was different and the lettering was different. So I'm like, is it new? New packaging? I don't know. But it is the uh, skin nutrition. Yes. For your face. Proven anti-aging. Um... Diminish the look of fine lines. And hydration, radiant, all day skin relief benefits. So we have, ooh, ooh, it looks real thick. Can you see it? Kind of. I would smell it. Huh. Doesn't really have a smell, which is good, but it's very slimy. I don't know. I guess I could try it. I mean, I don't see what harm it's going to do. Oh, it does leave it kind of smooth. If you've tried this, let me know. Again, this is what the bottle looks like. They had a couple of different ones. They have a night one and then this one. So many books at the Dollar Tree and I mean you could spend almost all day at my Dollar Tree looking through books. I picked up two of them. This one is the Natural Home Simple Pure Cleaning Solutions and Recipes for a Healthy House. Right up there. That's what it looks like. They covered up the price so I can't tell you exactly how much it retailed for but I was just flipping through some of them and Gives you some ideas how to use other products throughout your house, which I thought was interesting. So yeah, I thought, well, for a buck, I'll check it out. When I'm done using it, I always donate it. 
Okay, and then the last one is Dad Magazine. Hero Dad finally gets quiet time. One man's journey to relaxation. So I thought this was pretty cool. And has just pictures of, I don't know, they had, where'd it go? Where did it go? I just seen it. I don't know, they had, some of them were like old pictures. I just thought it was something cool. What else did you have in here? I don't know, just something different. Yeah, picked up that. Nothing too exciting, I know. Okay, moving on. They have some new yarn. And one of you commented about wearing these in your hair. And I remember my mom always put this kind of yarn in my pigtails. So she would, you know, have my pigtails and then she would wrap this around and make little bows. And then what I would go over to my aunt and uncle's house on my dad's side, my uncle Kurt would always untie them. Always. And it always made my mom mad. I would hide underneath the kitchen table so he couldn't get my ribbons. But this is what they look like. Right there. So I don't know if you you were younger and you had this in your hair. I don't know. But it's I thought it was cute and it's nice and soft too. You get 20 yards. Super bulky. Oh, and it's by Lion Brand. Oh, I didn't read that. Okay. So they had actually a lot of colors. Again, I will link that video down below, but I picked up that pink. They had that shade, fluorescent, and then the other fluorescent one. They had yellow too, but I don't know. I just not much of a yellow kind of person. So there's those two fluorescent colors. And then black. Oh, and they had this pink too. A light colored pink and gray like baby blue kind of a darker blue white and then the other yarn which this is just yarn that they normally always carry but this was a deeper blue and you get 131 yards so I picked up uh, that one uh, this is the Elmer's Disappearing Purple Spray Adhesive Permanent Bond Multi-Purpose Dries Clear, and it is a one ounce. I have never used anything like this before, so I'm going to see how well this works. And it says surfaces for like cotton, paper, cardboard, photos, foam boards, and wood. Safe, non-toxic and acid free photo safe try it out tiny bottle though now these aren't new and i always come across them and then i'm like oh i should have bought them now you know and then when i decide yeah i'll buy them and then i can't find them so when i found them again i just bought one of each these are like the fuzzy flowers now you can go to hobby lobby like right now and buy something like this and even if they're half off they're still like three or four dollars which I think is insane and did you know that Hobby Lobby no longer has their 40% off coupon yeah they stopped that like two weeks ago and ever since then and I've been there they're not busy at all don't know if that's a coincidence I don't know but yeah these are the fuzzy flowers I my nose my nose is starting to run oh, sorry you know I'm human okay a few other items. This is a new scent. This is the hand wash um, cucumber calm, nourishing, and hydrate. It's a 10 ounce extra love for all skin types. So I thought, well, maybe it'll like be real. I, I don't smell like cucumber. It doesn't really doesn't even have a scent. Well, that's interesting. And then the other thing, I picked up the Bath Crystals, same scent, and it is dye-free, and it's 12 ounce. Now, I don't take baths or any of that funky stuff anymore. I haven't did that in over 20 years. Like I've said in a lot of my videos, I buy those little 
little baggy things you can get in the baby department and I think you get eight of them and it's like see-through I just pour some of their bath salts in there and I use them as like car fresheners or a freshener in whatever room also I would take like an old um, candle jar cleaning it out I would dump some of that in there and put like a succulent plant or something in there so it's not only an air freshener it's also a decoration so let me attempt to open this to get a whiff maybe I tell you what these packages they're just not my friend they are not my friend oh my that's it that's it I am not gonna cut you on the line I am just going all the way not bad little clear looking white crystal things I mean, the scent's not bad, but it's something I wouldn't say, oh my gosh, you have to go get it. Eh, not bad. Eh. Mm. Mm. You know. Okay, so I know I hauled this hat, and these are so these are adult hats, and this one went fast. Like, I haven't been able to find it again. These are so cute. My daughter tried one on and she's going to Florida next month and she goes I really like that that's my hat I'll go back to the Dollar Tree and I'll look well I found two other colors so I bought her a black one me a black one and then this brown one but these are so cute you guys so if the wind blows and your hat you know flies off well then you only lost a dollar the other color they had is this brown now if you don't want this on there you don't have to keep it on there and here is the dark brown. And then they have the black. Oh, how adorable are those? I mean, I think they're really cute. So I did pick up those. Let me fix my hair now because it's all spousely. Um, The other item, it's not brand new, but I'm glad to see them back. These are the LED tea lights and they're color changing. And you get two of them. And they already have the batteries in there. And if you ever needed to replace the batteries, Dollar Tree does sell the size battery that you need. Now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. So, I don't know. So, we have like red, green, yellow, blue, and I think like pink, reddish kind of. But you're just giving it. So, it's not like fast strobe lights. But these are really cute to add into jars to give it a little bit of, I guess. Okay, so that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. Okay, so the things I'm going to talk about, let me grab one of these. Um, I did a video earlier in the week and I showed you all of my stickers that I collected back in the early 80s. And I should have added this, but I didn't. And some of you said, oh, well, I remember the um, Garbage Pail Kids. Yes, I collected those too back in their early 80s. And they were like 35 cents a pack. Here is my collection from the 80s of the Garbage Pail Kids. There's the stickers. And I have the complete set of series one and two. I am just going to kind of just show you for those that don't know what Garbage Pail Kids are. They're kind of, I don't know, funky looking stickers and they all have like names like there's Slimy Sam and Cindy Lopper and Scary Carrie. So yes, I have, <laughs> I still have my collection. I also have all of my Care Bears, all of my Cabbage Patch Dolls, my Koozies, um, that was the Cabbage Patch Pets. I have my Munchy Cheese and the Red Rocking Horse. I have all the Fisher Price, the, the barn, the hospital, um, the school. I have all of that. I have all of the original um, Strawberry Shortcake Dolls, the little miniatures, the regular size ones and um gosh what else did i have i can't remember but i i kept all of it my mom would let my kids play with it i'm like don't you ruin my stuff i've had that for a long time 
So yes, I, I kept a lot of my stuff and I, I did take care of my stuff. I never ruined anything. Well, I take that back. I did cut Barbie's hair. I never really cared for Barbie for some reason. I don't know. So I just wanted to show you that I do have my garbage pail kid um, collection. Also, if you wanted to check out the um, sticker video, I'll link it down below so it's easier for you to find. Also, the past couple of videos, you've seen my dogs um, playing in a tent, but it's called a doggy den. And this is what the box looks like. And here at the end, I'll let the dogs play in it. Hopefully they'll play in it because they're all sleeping right now. But I found this at um, Tuesday morning for $24.99. It says it's the value is $39.99. But I wanted to show you the box. So if it's something you think your dog would like, I wanted to show you what the box looks like. It comes with a... Um, topper kind of like if it's weather bad weather or whatever so i don't have that on the tent because it's inside right now but it is durable waterproof shelter keeps your pet protected from the elements it's 38 inch by 27 inch by 28 inch so yes i did want to show you guys that because i know a lot of you um were asking about that also um some of you ask what kind of bones my dogs chew on because off and on you'll see Josie just gnawing away on bones. I buy a lot of the nylon bones. Nylon? Not, yeah, nylon. Um, she's a rough chewer, so they have different grades of bones. Like they have for soft chewers and like destructive chewers like Joe. So these are um, the bones, some of them, because I still have them in packages because they're getting them for Easter. Yes, my dogs get an Easter basket too. Now, the best prices that you can find these at would be at Marshalls, TG Maxx, Home Goods, and Big Lots. Yes. Or if you want to go to Target, you could spend 10 bucks, or like I said, you can go to the other stores and get this. I think it's like $3.99 or $2.99. So here's one of them. They do have different flavors. This is from um, Big Lots, which I just purchased a couple of days ago. Only $1.99. And they have them in different sizes. They have small, medium, and large. And then there's this one. And these are usually about a couple bucks too. So, I mean, they have different flavors, different sizes, different shapes. And this one is called Halo, I do believe. This one's the bigger one now. This was at um, TJ Maxx for $6.99. These are really good because it's easy for them to wrap their paws on and gnaw on this part. Also, I mean, they can hang it or chew on this part or this way, which you can see Josie already kind of broke it in. But yeah, my dogs love these. So if you have a dog and you're just not quite sure what kind of bone to get, I really, I really love these bones. I've been buying them for as long as I've had my dogs and it's been, what, 13 years. So just wanted to include all that. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If so, I would really love a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would really love to have you. If you'd like to be notified as soon as I upload, then be sure you click on to that little bell. As always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe Friday, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Keep smiling.